Raymond Dart unveiled the Tong Child in 1925, the first Australopithecus ever known. The London anthropology elite dismissed it as a fantasy, but Raymond Dart held his ground. Quarrymen near Johannesburg had unearthed a fossil, small, strange, and deep human. On his best friend's wedding day, Dart received the skull that would fracture anthropology. For 60 days, Dart carved the skull with his wife's knitting needles, releasing it from the breccia. At a conference in London in 1926, Dart's wife left the Tong child in a taxi and rode alone all night. By 1953, amid the Piltdown hoax, London relented. A new human genus was born, the Australopithecines. 1959, at Old Dubai Gorge in Tanzania, Mary Leakey uncovered Paranthropus boisei, a sister branch of the Australopithecines. Donald Johansson and his team of young archaeologists discovered Lucy, Australopithecus afarensis, in Ethiopia in 1974. Given the name Lucy at a late night party at camp. Named after the Beatles, Lucy in the Sky. In 1994, Meeve Leakey and her team discovered fossil remains at Kanapoi, Kenya, identifying the Australopithecus anamensis. The species dates back to 4.2 million years ago. Miviliki has suggested that Anamensis offers a more definitive morphological bridge between earlier apes and later hominids, beating out Artipithecines and Sahelanthropus. Australopithecus sediba was discovered by Lieberger's son Matthew in 2003 at Malapa in a cave in South Africa. Matthew, on an outing with his dad, stumbled over a fossil bearing rock while chasing his dog Tao. The last Australopithecus? Sediba may have walked alongside early Homo. Its mystery stretches far beyond extinction. Australopithecus morphology. Brain size runs about 400 to 550 cc. Four to five feet tall, about 110 pounds. There are a total of nine Australopithecus species. Learn more in our Australopithecus crash course coming soon to this channel, long form video.